Good morning, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we will start our section for about the promotion module. So basically, promotion module is very important for pieces. Later on, uh, Kim Fat will show you how to do the promotion, then which promotion it benefit to which kind of the uh, usage. Uh. So in the section, every time uh, Kim Fat present the one or two or three type promotion, we stop for a while. Let all of you think about that. Then you can read a question for us so we can have an interaction section. So we we'll need mm -hmm. your input and then we we'll share the thing for you. Let you more understanding about this promotion. Okay, so this is today. The, how is the style of the uh, today webinar on this promotion module? So with further delays, I invite Fat to give you a briefing on this promotion module. Please, Fat. Okay. So good morning, everyone. So today uh, our topic is about the promotion module for the Dynamo. Okay. So first we will uh I will talk about the Dynamo promotion module. What is uh what is the promotion module? Okay. Actually, uh our Dynamo got eight type of the promotion module. First is the promotion plan, and then the member member group plan, buy and free, mix and match add-on plan and then range discount cash rebate and the purchase with purchase pwp okay so the first one uh, another one next we will we will be about the set, how to do the promotion setting okay so for promotion setting is at promotion module here set up here actually is a about our dynamo promotion setting how to run and then you want to activate or deactivate the inactive the promotion setting here will be do this one okay actually inside here you can see all this the screen like this first we will, as i just now say is you can active or inactive the promotion setting and then is it the applicable for the member here we can set uh, the promotion applicable to the member or everyone. No? You, if let's say you put yes, that means the promotion only for member only. But here you, we got two promotion uh, not included. This is the promo, stop promotion and member group. Here will be not available cost. Actually, uh, these two promotion already got their own member setting inside the promotion there. <clears throat> and then, we got a remark here. Remark here is the, to under, to let the user understand under the, uh, understanding about our <clears throat> promotion for the type promotion type, how to do the setting, and then got the example scenario how to apply the promotion uh, under this promotion. And then here we got a new function. If let's say last last webinar if you got join the subsidiary company uh, we got a function is copy the sub copy the promotion setting to uh, subsidiary co company okay here we here will be copy the setting all here to the subsidiary company from the parent company there <clears throat> okay what have to take note if let's say you want to set the promotion. Okay, user can able to set stop promotion and member group promotion concurrently at the same time. But the system will compare and use the item price that give up highest discount value if promotion contain same stock item. That means if let's say you got do the item A, at the stock promotion and then also got to do the setting on member group promotion system is allowed but system will take the higher discount value for this item a that's mean if let's say stock promotion there you do the discount is 10 percent but member group promotion there you set is a uh, 20 percent so system will take the 20 percent for for the item a <coughs> System also will give higher priority 
to add on, buy and free, make and match, rent discount, PWP promotion, and the setting will override the promotion, stop promotion and member group promotion. That means if let's say you set either one of the, this promotion, you also got set these two promotion as well. System will override the promotion to stop promotion. That means if let's say you got set add-on, the item F got set the promotion for add-on promotion there. Then if you also got set the stop promotion, so system will override. That means you will use the, use the add-on uh, promotion plan to override the stop promotion. <clears throat> User can only set same stock item in either one of the add-on, buy and free, make and match, rent discount, and purchase with purchase within the same location and promotion period. The only exception for this condition is stock promotion and member group promotion. Cause these two got the ad hoc. That means, uh, if let's say you want to do the promotion setting or apply any promotion plan, you have to understand this concept first before you start to apply the setting. <clears throat> okay. Next, we will talk about the promo our dynamic promotion four level concept. What is four level? Because uh, here we will, we can see first we have to set the plan, the plan for when you want to start the promotion. And then when is the end date for the promotion? After that, you have to set the schedule. And then you also set, have to set the, under this schedule, what batch of the item will do the promotion. At the net, at the last one, we, you can do the ad hoc. So ad hoc is uh, just now I say the promotion stop promotion and the member group promotion only can apply. <clears throat> so here is the concept. That means you can see the uh, ad hoc. If let's say they got do the schedule promotion here and, and under these two promotion there, you can set a promotion between this, uh, these two schedule promotion to override the setting. <clears throat> So this is the concept. As just now I mentioned, this is the sample. Uh, you have to set the plan first, and then you have to set the schedule, and then the batch item. After that, you have to set the ad hoc, or if I say called ad hoc. If you don't have the ad hoc, actually the last step is until L3 only. Okay. For the level one, we have to set the plan. This is the promotion plan header. For here, you have to set up. If let's say you uh, select one of the promotion to do the your promotion setting, then you have to set the description for the promotion plan. And then the plan is effective date and then invalid date. At the same time, you have to take note, our invalid date is if let's say your promotion end date is the 31st December 2021, you have to plus one day. Cause here already mentioned is a uh, plan invalid date. That means the date is invalid. If let's say you set 31st December 2021, that means the promotion will until the 30th December 2021 only. Okay. And then here also you have to set the, which promotion will be joined the uh, which outlet will be join the promotion. So you have to select the location here. Next, you have to set the schedule. Cause after you set this one, you should be click the more there. And then we've got a wizard. You will come into here. You can see the wizard setting like this. First, you have to maintain the schedule. Second, you have to uh, put the description for the schedule and then effective date and invalid date. So here also same, have to plus one day for the invalid date. And then you want to confirm or cancel. But for here, if let's say your promotion, uh, 
have to start one, then you have to take schedule confirm. If not, uh, if you no take here, uh, the promotion will not affect it at the post there. Okay, the next one will be the define the default discount parameter. Okay, here if let's say a uh, different promotion plan, you have the different promotion option to set. So this is the setting for the stock promotion. That's why you will you will be see uh, this setting here, and then you can set the define your schedule recurring day. You want the all day to do the promotion, or you want to select the day, or you select the time also can. So here you can see Monday until Sunday. If let's say the promotion only for weekend, then you can set weekend. Saturday or Sunday, you just take two, and then uh, the time you also can set when the promotion time to do. Next, you will do the batch process. So batch process is to maintain the batch, and then you can input the process detail here, uh, reference and description for batch, and then you have to confirm as well. So here, here you also have to take off to confirm. So batch is for maintain different coupling uh, of the product by category or by group between the promotion schedule. <clears throat> so until here actually is the plan L1, L2 and L3, the batch. Of <clears throat> so under the batch here, we also have to set, uh, choose the stop option, maintain the stop process, and then here define promotion parameter. Also got a uh, different promotion plan, as just now mentioned. Different promotion plan will have a different option. Later at the behind there, I will show different parameter how to set for different promotion plans, and then define the method and value here. Okay, from product range filter method is the actually, uh, here you will, if let's say here you select the category, then filter value, you get the category, all the category value. And then the price for the promotion, you can set, select. Stop to be processed is of what you filter here, you will get what uh, item here. And then process by selected option means after you filter here, which item will be to be the promotion item, then you click this one. All the item will be looked to here to be the promotion stock. <clears throat> okay, this is the next setting for the L4, level four setting. Uh, here you can see, uh, if let's say you select the promotion for stock and member group option, uh, member group promotion, here you, you can see the promotion schedule visit for ad hoc. Actually, the setting is set as the visit, but this one ad hoc, you can reselect the item under the, uh, the just now the visit, the first visit there, then can override the promotion there. So that's why here I will mention is uh, available to set during the existing promotion date and do another promotional set. Actually the function is same as just now L1 and L3 until L3 day. Okay. Here I also got mentioned, uh, this is the, for the stock promotion and the member group promotion. So if let's say the promotion you're running on this December, at the middle here, you can plus one more ad hoc to, do, to boost up the sales. So this is the purpose uh, to allow additional promotion on existing plan. This one, the benefit is to boost the sales on special event during the existing promotion plan. Mm. Okay, the next we will talk about the option with the scenario. Option actually here we will based on just now the promotion module, one uh, promotion, uh, stop promotion, uh, and then uh, the egg type of the promotion. Uh. 
and then we I will make some of the scenario based on the uh, ready at the dynamo there the scenario then to do some of the picture and the setting how to do. Okay, so the promotion plan is uh, available for the ad hoc. Okay, the objective to do the promotion plan is actually is introduce the new product or the service. If let's say you got a new product, maybe they want to do the promotion like to, to attract the customer and then to increase the crowd profit on the off peak season, increase sales value and then uh, maintain the market competitiveness. <clears throat> So for the promotion plan, actually the defined def, uh, default discount parameter screen is like this. You can set the normal promotion for the normal member or you set the only for the member promotion also can. That means at, on, at this promotion plan, you can select uh, some of the item discount for normal customer or some uh, special discount for the member for the same item. <clears throat> okay, so first for the scenario one, member are entitled for additional 10% discount on all discount item. That's mean, uh, here you can set the promotion is like this. You can set the normal promotion is uh, 10%. Then member promotion, you can add on additional 10%. That's why here you can see uh, for the normal customer, you can get 10%. For the member, uh, can get 20%. At the, after you set like this one, then you can see the result for the member, uh, sorry, non-member, only discount 10%. If for member, you will discount 20%. <clears throat> Scenario two, will be the another promotion rate for the member during promotion period. That means the normal period member will get 20% discount. Non-member will get 0% discount. Promotion period member will get 50%. Non-member will get 20%. The setting we can set like this for the normal period. Uh, maybe we set weekday, Monday until Friday. Then uh, non-member is 0%, then the member is 20%. So this is the normal period. The promotion period is maybe we set is a weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Then we set the discount value 20% and 50%. So this is the sample we how to set. And then next one will be the happy hour promotion. So promotion will run every day. But at that specific time, by day or by date or by time, we also can sell. That means we can set, uh, if let's say the promotion is 4.30 until 8.30 from Monday to Friday. All the setting you set as usual, but here the time setting here, you can filter by your own when you want to do the promotion. <clears throat> The next scenario will be additional discount given on discounted item on specific day. On each item, normal promotion discount 20%, but on certain day, discount is given 30 day. Okay, the first one, we have to set the schedule promotion, the normal promotion. We give the value is 20% for the member. And then we do the ad hoc promotion is discount 30%. That's why here you can see for uh, for this explanation is uh, this one, the date, maybe uh, here is the Mateka day. That's why here Mateka day, we can set got extra discount for the member. So we can set like this. Huh? So this one is the explanation for here to do how to do the setting. <clears throat> so this is the sample promotion on assisting uh, Market is running like the this one happy hour. You can get the eleven ringgit movie ticket, and then a young member special for the member on all supermarket item, and then here a young pick you can see the enjoy the five percent discount. Hmm. Here also you can see the additional 
discount. As just now I mentioned, you can set the additional discount. Okay, the next one will be the member group plan. This one also got the ad hoc setting. Okay, this one is a special discount for member group, only applicable for member module only. And then the objective is offer special discount rate for different member group as a loyalty reward, induce uh, existing member to purchase more, to identify and attract new member. Okay, for here, this is the for member group plan, the defined parameter is like this. Huh? <clears throat> okay, here you can set the input batch. You have, uh, is it the member, is it the uh, promotion applied to all customer include the non-member or selected member group only, you can filter the member group. Discount type, we can set the by percent and by amount as well. Then we can set the uh, level discount. So later, the behind next few slides, I will dis uh, explain how to apply the discount value by level one until level four here. And then for this member group plan, actually we got a special, actually this one is a new enhancement on few next, uh, I think the last two version, we got the enable the, the limited quantity setting here. You can set the limiter uh, for the member, how can apply the, uh, how to say, this mean, the set this one you can set the limited. That means uh you the this promotion if let's say uh only for hundred unit only, then you can set the hundred unit for by location or by member also can. <clears throat> for the this one scenario one, we can set the different group member to get different mem uh, discount rate like this one the gold member we can set 30 percent silver member we can set uh 20 percent and then the normal member we can set 10 percent so different member group can get different uh discount rate scenario two here is a member get multi-level discount maximum up to four level as just now I show the batch there. So here you can see, uh, if let's say you set 10, level one, 10, level two, 10, level three, 10, and then level four is also 10. So the discount uh, calculation will be like this. The first level you discount the 10% will be 10 ringgit already. Then level two will be based on just now this one, uh, after discount the rate discount, then time the 10% to get the discount. So here you can see if level one, uh, if let's say the item is 100 ringgit, after you uh, do the discount 10% on this one level one, you will get the amount is a uh, 91 ringgit and then 91, uh, sorry, 90 ringgit. And then here you can get another 90 ringgit uh, level two discount here, then level three, level four. If let's say you this, uh, at the end, this item actually is 65 ringgit 61 cent. If let's say you totally to give the 40%, actually this item is a uh, 60 ringgit. But for, by this level, they will based on level to do discount. Then at the end, you will get this discount. So you can set, you want to apply level one and level two only or level one until level three or I, I either or level one or until level four also can. So this is the calculation. If let's say the item is 100 ringgit after you apply this uh, level one until level four discount, then you will get the result like this. So this is the market running the discount level. Okay, this is the member group discount. <coughs> so, and this is the just now, like 30 plus 10, uh, 20 plus 20. Uh, and then here also got the member days promotion. Okay, the next one will be the, as just now I mentioned, is the limited quantity for member. Actually, this one is the retreat 
each member maximum quantity purchased in each outlet uh, and then retention could reset by every day or by location also can and then as well also can each member can enjoy the same promotion for several days that means if let's say today the member limited only to buy two if let's say the uh this promotion is uh for one week seven day then the member can come every day to buy two unit two unit like that so this one will system can reset the setting for calculation if let's say the member today buy two already so cannot uh this limit already ma. so here you and up tomorrow to uh, the member come back again then they can continue to enjoy the promotion to buy another tool <clears throat> so this objective actually is a quick agency of purchase behavior due to promote by limited quantity and then increase member joining rate due to apply for member only easier for merchant to control the cost budget to offer due to accept by limited quantity maybe some of the outlet say uh, maybe some of the company they say uh, this outlet only apply for 100 unit then every member only apply to that means only 50 member can buy the product so you can do the promotion like this so this one actually you have to take note actually uh, dynamic up to have to up to 2019.1 build four, and then you have to upgrade the server socket until this uh 2019.1 build four as well and then the client socket uh 20 uh, 19.1 build three touch pro also have to 2019.1 uh, build 12. So this is the requirement you have to update until this server. If not, you, I think you cannot see the, this setting. If let's say is, uh, your version is before this uh, build 4. <clears throat> and then this one actually is limitation quantity only for individual stock only. Uh, cannot set uh, by stock group. And then here you can set the member group eligible to enjoy this promotion that means you can set uh, this promotion under which member group you can sell <clears throat> so, uh, and then here member group promotion by limited quantity okay will higher priority and override the price setting for add-on buy and free mix and match rent discount and pwp so this one you have to take note this one actually is uh, like just now I show the disclaimer in front. So this uh, promotion setting will all right than others this promotion. If let's say they got do this one member group promotion. Actually, if you know that the higher priority is add on buy and free and match rent discount and PWP is all right, the member group one. But you buy limited quantity, it will all right back to the this promotion. <clears throat> okay, scenario three is a uh, each group go or silver member maximum uh up to purchase two quantity with discount twenty percent in each outlet. So this is a setting how to set. We can set the cost. This one is discount twenty percent. So we set the setting twenty percent, and then we can set the limited like uh lo this location uh every location every outlet can uh, limited 50 on it and then every man, member only available to buy two unit and then this one we can reset every day that means today after today 50 uh, limited already and then tomorrow we can set another 50 so it will every day reset and then here is a by individual stock uh, here it will be set the member group <clears throat> So this is the result for limitation purchase to quantity with 20% for each member. You can see here, after scan the two unit for the member, here the third item cannot uh, get the promotion. So this here you can see, if let's say you use this one uh, 
dynamics uh, pole simulation to do the testing, you can see the setting you can apply is correct. So first two row will be entitled to 20%. Third row will be back to normal. We up uh, discount or follow the stock promotion discount. If let's say this item maybe got do the promo other promotion. So the third item will be back to the normal promotion discount rate. Or if let's say this item don't have to do any promotion, we'll back to normal price. Of. So this is the uh, explanation like this. Uh. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the how the market to set the urgency for the customer. You can see this one actually uh, stand ringgit for hundred unit only, and then this one uh, seven ringgit ninety cent only for limited per meal, and then here you can see uh, this one promotion also here limit 100 quantity only okay the next one the third one uh, this is the buy and free plan so here you can see buy s quantity of the product and free n quantity of product <clears throat> objective is a good option for the merchant keep a lot of stock that need to clear out and increase the stock movement and then encourage the consumer to purchase product instead of just looking at the current items. Okay, at the setting here, the, this, uh, the parameter setting here, you have to select the buy item at the, this setting here, and then you can set your purchase buy quantity and then free quantity here. As here you can see the defined method value is uh, what you search. <coughs> Sorry, here I think this set, here I show wrong already. Actually, here you have to after you this one actually the full screen you have to set uh, for the purchase first. After you put the purchase first, here you can set the selected stock is the what the customer have to purchase and then free stock here. Uh, here have to filter out the sorry uh, there okay correct correct so here is a show the, okay for here you have to set the item for purchase it will come to the selected stock here and then here to filter the free item will be to under this tag so here you have to make sure what you filter on the selected stock and then what item you selected on the free stock here. So when the, you, when the item meet is the same, that means when meet the requirement for the selected stock and then the free stock, so system will select one item is for buy and then another item is for free. Okay, the scenario is a buy, buy item A to get item B free. Maybe we can set buy one free one like that, buy two free one, buy three free two. But you have to take note is system available to set buy or free for the same item only cannot mix item. That means if let's say buy two, buy two free one, you can set item A and item A for that two only. Cannot set item A and item B for that two, uh, even three also this one. That means free this one also same. If let's say free two only can free uh, item A and item A, cannot item A mix B uh, for the item here for the quantity. <clears throat> so after you set the screen, you, be, you can see uh, selected stock barcode by quantity is how many, and then the free quantity is how many. <clears throat> so you can see the buy one free one, buy two free one, buy three free two for the same product. That means three is this barcode item A and then item B is uh, this barcode. So this is the setting what we set from buy and free. <clears throat> if let's say you buy three free two for the same item also can now. That means total five unit of the item for same item also can. But as here have to take no no two or three more than one now 
more than one cannot mix up. <laughs> so this is the sample by one free one, by two free one, and then by three free two. Okay, the next one will be the mix and match plan. This is the number four promotion ID. And then here, uh, actually the objective to attract the consumer purchase a certain number of product to get a discount in terms of saving on multiple item uh, versus a single item. And then cross-selling and upselling incentive to move product that do not sell well on individual products. And then here we got a four method to apply for the discount for this uh, mix and match. We can select the last scan item only to do discount. And then all match item, lower price item, or fixed amount. This is the scenario for the method apply on two unit of promotion item. That means if let's say the item uh, got two item one and item two, when the item two scan, that means here you can you can see hit the setting already. That means last scan item only to get the discount. If let's say you select this one last scan item only, that means item one is two hundred item. Two is 100, you will discount 10% on this one, 100 ringgit. If let's say the first item is 100 ringgit, second item is 200, then the item will discount on 200, not the 100 ringgit idea. So this one have to take note what item on the last scan, you will get the discount. All match item, that means it will overall to discount on both items also 10%. And then the lower price only to get the discount. That means here you can see item one and item two, your system will get, uh, will use the lower price item to give discount. Fixed amount is you have to set the fixed amount here. That means if let's say item one and two is 200 and 100, you can set this item only for 50 ringgit. So it will give the discount uh, on these two items until the last amount is 50 ringgit. Okay, so this is the scenario one. Discounted price given the if purchase two piece of promotion item. That means if let's say two also item A, and then give discount 20% of each item. Here you can set mesh and mesh quantity is two, all mesh item and then the percentage is 20%. So here is the result. After the system you calculate here, you after meet the requirement here, then we we'll do the discount 20%. So at last will be eight price, eight is uh, 16 for these two items. Here you can see the third item will not get the discount unless you got the fourth item also same, then also will get the discount for another for uh, the, the next item with the same item <clears throat> okay scenario two will be the discount given as per quantity discount setting any item that's mean uh, you got item a b or c anything then you will give the discount on 20 percent for each item here you can see if this here will be all match item as well then Cost here with the two unit, then you have to set two unit, and then we uh, use the percentage. Here you can see is the twenty percent. Then uh, this item here you can see uh, one, two, three, three item. Uh. That means here if let's say the promotion is hit the requirement here, here will be the that two first two item you get the discount because uh, this one is the any item of two for this one, mesh and mesh. So the third item, no discount. <clears throat> okay, and then here will be discount given the lower price item, buy any two different product and give discount to the one with lower like re regular price. Here you can see the setting will be also two different item. And then we set the lower price item setting and then 50%. 
So here will be the result. The last scan item, sorry, the lower price item will be get the discount. That means these two items is under the setting. So system will choose the item lower price to do the discount. Okay. And then the next scenario will be item A, B, C, these three items. Then all items will be get discount 20%. That means all match item here not only can set two, three also can. And then here we will see that when the system file these three items is under the promotion for me and mesh, this one 20%, all the items will get the discount 20%. Okay. Best buy option with fixed price for all items. This is the fixed amount setting. So here for fixed amount here, it's not allowed to set a percentage only for amount only. That's why here you can see is if let's say you put nine ringgit ninety nine cent system will calculate the that two item final amount will be the nine ringgit ninety nine cent. But here it's cost round cent up. That's why here we show ten ringgit. So this is the market. Uh, doing the mix and match plan, and then here you can see how come. Uh, got a one buy one free one make and match promotion here. Okay, for just now, uh, maybe some of the customer they want to do buy two free one or buy three free one, but the maybe the some of maybe one of the item uh how they want to mix buy two and buy one that one uh. so that two just now buy and free cannot do uh cannot do same item item a and item a so here we can set uh, the three item then we can set the last maybe we can set the lower price item to get the discount uh 100 so we can hit the free one so we can also can use a uh, mix and match to do the buy and free promotion setting as well and then this is the buy any two for 15 ringgit is the normal mix and match and then here also the normal mix and match but we also got a one a setting like the mcdonald that one mix and match you got a part a and part b then you only can do that one also got call mix and match but that one you have to take note uh we our mix and match we cannot do the that one promotion setting Cause you got a uh, item A, uh, group A to select one item, and then group B to select one item. That one is another type of make and measure. But temporary, we our system not don't have the setting like that. <coughs> so that one maybe you have to take note. Okay. So next will be add one plan. Uh, yeah. maybe what Simon? No. Sorry, for, stop for a while because we okay. say, uh, we need some discussion before we move on. Uh. Okay, okay. So because you share a lot of the promotion method so far. Okay. I think let all of you have a think about that. Then uh, I think you may raise your question. So which promotion you think that you're not understanding or you need uh create something you can please ask? I got one QA here. You can see a part. Uh Frederick Lee asking. He asking about make and match. Can you for non-member or member? Which one? Oh. Make and match. <coughs> can you oh. or non member or member? Can uh, that's one okay. But uh, <coughs> one, okay. show the screen how to apply the membership, the setting there. This one. Correct. When you do the setting, you have to take note of this one, the setting. <coughs> you have if let's say just now make and match only applicable for the member. Here you have to select this one only for member, but actually not here. La. Here is the default setting to let you know when you set the promotion setting. Actually, this one is under when you do the make and match setting. Maybe I open the screen for dynamo. <clears throat> yeah, please. Actually, it's under the bash there to control is it. No, when they do the plan, when they do the plan there, they can they set the, the is for member or not for member. 
Okay. One more second. So for the make and mesh, then <clears throat> okay. here sorry, you can I'll... see. Yeah. Oh, okay, please look the screen. Okay, here you can see applicable to member only or to one. If let's say you take here, that means this setting for member only. If let's say what you set here, any promotion under the make and match, any schedule or any batch here only for member only. For just now that one default, that means if let's say you set the default here, if let's say you here you set default, every time you do the promotion for make and match, you will automatically take for you this one is a uh, applicable for member only. That's why here is the call default setting, default applicable to member only. Understand? <laughs> okay, it? Patrick, I think uh, you... Okay, Patrick, I understand. Uh, how to check the whole list of promotion plan and dates? Or oh, that one is come to the reporting side. Later on, yeah. the last section, we share with you where to check the report. Later on, uh, Ms. Uh, Lim. Later, I will show. <clears throat> Okay, so anything? Okay, we come back. Uh, just how we got few promotions. Uh, okay, come back to limited quantity promotion. This is a new promotion item, right? So just how you mentioned, the purpose to do the limited quantity promotion is to encourage for the merchant now, because nowadays, mm -hmm. how to make sure your uh, sales going, uh, double up your sales, Basically, you need some uh, tech sales techniques. So important for the current uh, market uh, experience. So we don't always ask merchant to run the membership program. The purpose of running the membership program is to retain your customer, right? If you want to retain customer, you still need some marketing like promotion to attract them to go back your your shop to do the recurring sales. So, so now the question is how to increase my member? Because if you do the member promotion, it's quite attractive. Right? Just out of limited quantity promotion, mean to say, this offer only apply to member. When you member come to your shop, you sure got this member promotion if you're not the member. So in this scenario, you create the interest for the non-member to be become a member. Is it? That's why this is very important for you to set, try to use the auto promotion apply to member only. So your member, your member you, will be increased from the promotion activity. In the other hand is, you, you master a lot of your member purchasing history. In the future, for member purchase history, you can do a lot of the sales technique to tackle different group of member. So, at all, we need some technique to find out the information. That's why every time you do promotion, you need to do some analysis that from the buyer, you know, this group is under which category. So, the member analysis is helping you for your future doing the planning of the new promotion. That's why I encourage your acquire more member is very important for your company. Of course, uh, these are some of promotion we have. So just some uh, five or share about four promotions, is it? We just some mention about four, is it? Just share. Ah, uh, yeah, is, four, uh, four promotion already. First is a normal stock promotion. Second is a member group promotion. Member group inside also got limited promotion, then followed by buy and free. This Next, uh, then we make go and to mesh. make and match. So mm -hmm. we just how far already sharing five actually. Four, five four, four. Already, uh. four, four, four. Because member group inside got limited quantity promotion. Oh, uh, okay. I uh, consider extra one now. Uh, we say extra mm -hmm. one method for you. That's why you got five. Uh. So at today's five method. Now asking yourself, do you run this promotion before or not? Think about that. Because every time you do some promotion, you attract the recurring sales, right? So please do study our promotion method. Then not only uh, to acquire the member to come to purchasing, they also have some technique behind. For example, just some sharing for you about the, we call the buy and free. Yeah? So I, I say, let's say for example, do some promotion two type. Uh. What we call it, buy one item A, we give discount 
The other method is we call it buy two, uh, buy one free one. So in these two scenarios, if you're a merchant, you prefer which type of promotion? Number one, we call it buy item A, discount 50%. Number two is buy and free one. So one and two, I need to ask of you which option you choose, one or two. Please type your answer in the chat box there. I need to know your uh, answer. Can you type something on the chat box? One and two, prefer which one? One or two? One is discount 50%, two is buy and free, buy one free one. Which one you choose? Can you help me type some answer in the chat box there? Please, exercise or two. Lim is two, yes, good. Others, help me type something on there. Two, LM1 is two, all right. Others, we have so many here. I Some two exercise because you heard fast training about uh, 40 minutes, see? Two exercise there. Two, okay. Oh, wood also two, tennis also two, good, good. Grace also two, yes. Okay, good. Others? You need to think, uh, because when you do the promotion, you need to think about it. What the purpose of buy one, free one, and 50% discount? What is benefit to a merchant? Actually, actually, the end is, and you merchant should get the 50% discount, right? The member, right? But which method is better? You need to think about it. Uh. Let me share with you. Uh, why why two or why one? But well, I saw all of them. They type two, uh. So why two, uh? Can you can you do some writing there? Share with me why you choose two. Whether you answer it with me, same. Somebody can answer that. Because a lot a lot of the customers think uh, replies two, uh. It's very good. You type two is just is correct, uh. Why two? Think about that. Why two, not one. Because at the end, you still get the 50% discount. Okay, uh, okay. I think all of them, they have same mindset with me. Actually, two is same method of discount, but you think about your stock, stock movement. If you use the buy two free, buy, buy one free, what it means that when customer buy the time, they pay you how much? Pay total price of one item. Let's say this item is 10 ringgit, you 50, 50 discount is 5 ringgit. But you buy one free, you mean you still get the sales about selling it, but you sell two items out. You first come to first action, it means that you buy one discount 50%. Of course, you can sell the same item, one item, but you get 50%, you're firing it. By the end, your stock only deduct one, is it? But for merchant side, you need to clear your stock. I'm right. Then the sales value, you buy one free one, your sale value become selling it instead of uh, the firing it, am right? So that's why you all choose two. So in future, when you do some promotion like this, think about this promotion, how to help you increase your sales or, or help you create a stock. So the purpose of that, in that scenario, pays you the buy one free one. Okay, thank you all the participants join the question is. Okay, so I see any question asking on that. Okay, no, all right. Uh, anything question to raise or not? If no, we go to further up. Let's far share with you another four type, another promotion method. Is okay for this one? Uh, this one, Jolin chose price one, two, three, four, five for promotion. <laughs> okay, Julian asking is uh, can we choose the by price one, two, three, four, five for promotion? Okay, by default, our setting is looking for which price. Post system price. Post system price. <laughs> yes. Our promotion methods always looking at our post buy for do the promotion. If you prefer price two, price three, then actually, actually currently we don't have this setting. But what you can do is you can export the price out to mm. your promotion sheet, export the Excel from there, you modify by yourself. Only this you can do, have you only. Can you Excel to manipulate the pricing level? But certain promotion can do the export and import by Excel. Yes. So can share with you where you can do this uh, option or not? Later, later the slide I will show. Okay, later on, uh, I'll share with you. Based on current setting, you want to do some modification, later on, I'll share where to do modification. Uh, <laughs> for, the, uh, for those who are looking for price 2 or price 3 or price 4 methods. All right? Okay, move on. In this case, you move on to the Another four type promotion, please. Okay, so the next one, the fifth promotion is the add-on plan. 
this one actually the promotion item will be uh, give the discount when trigger item is being purchased. Example, purchase the item A and get item B will get discount by the percentage or amount. This one actually is uh, to attract the customer to buy bundle product with additional attractive value. Yeah. So this is the defined promotion parameter. So here you can set the selected item. That means what item they need to purchase first. And then here you will see the add-on stock. Here you have to set the add-on stock. That's why under this add-on plan, same as just now buy and free the plan, you, you have to take note here will be got two tabs. One is the selected stock, and then for this one is the add-on stock. For just now, it's the free stock. So you have to take note this one. So what you choose for the selected stock, you will uh, filter up to here, and then the add-on stock will be on add-on stock, the page there. And then the add-on stock, you want to discount how many you can do the setting on here. This is the scenario. If let's say buy item A and get item B for discount 20%. Here we have to set the item A, the category A. Okay. Maybe here we set the category B, then you we have to set the setting item B or category B item. Uh, this one when trigger this item purchase already, then or system will file with this item also same under this add on plan one, then he will do the discount for B 20%. So system, you, this is the result. But here is the one-to-one -one item. Uh, that means one-to-one -one and then, so you have to take note this. So here you can see this is item A, system file, this is the item for selected stock and then this is the add-on product we will do discount. <clears throat> this is the market uh, now uh, running that one for the add-on promotion. So this is a sample. The next one will be the rent discount plan. This one is holding the price uh, limit on customer ability to step offer past a certain threshold in still in consumer the idea of buying buy more and sell more some of the meaning okay here is the promotion setting for the range discount you can set the effective from how many quantity then in really until when which how many quantity then you want the discount by percentage or by amount also can set okay this is the scenario buy 10 above, buy 10 and above to get 10 ringgit discount, and then buy 20 and above to get 15% discount. So this is the setting. If so, you have to set 10 and then invalid is 20. So the amount, because this is the 10 ringgit and 50 ringgit. Here you can you have to set 10 and then another one will set 15. And here you can see um, this is the item for 10 units here. Then we get discount 10 ringgit for every item. For here, cost here already uh, more than 20. Uh, start, uh, cost of here is by 20. So here we 20 item and above, you will start to discount every item, discount 15 ringgit. So this is the value. Discount value is based on every unit. Uh, so you have to take note, apply to same item only. That means you do this one by 10, the 10 and above and 10 until 19, the item have to same item 20, and above for the item is have the same item. You cannot mix together. 
So this is the sample for the market trend now to buy one, uh, sorry, buy more, free more, uh, so buy more, sell more, sorry. So here you can see buy to 54.99 uh, cents. Actually, this item normally is selling one unit, 32 ringgit 73 cents for each. So when they purchase two, it will give this cow for them. Okay, cash rebate print. Given this cow on bill basis, if bill amount achieve preset value. This one actually to objective is recover cash flow faster and avoid cash flow shortage. And then uh, for do the business one, you can reinvest the cash in the business to help grow in faster. And then this one cash rebate is by total bill. If the company have SST, cash rebate type just allowed to do payment type only. So here you can see the setting for the defined cash rebate detail. You want to discount, you want to do the cash uh, rebate by discount or by payment. Here you can see the defined discount detail is by percentage or by amount. That means you set percentage 10 is 10 percent, amount is 10 ringgit. And then we also can set the preset value for achieve. That means uh, when they achieve how many uh, purchase amount, then you will get the cash rebate. So this is the sample for the scenario here. If the bill amount above 100 and get discount 10% on total bill. Here you have to set, if let's say for discount, you have to set the discount setting here. Then the percentage is also 10 here. Cost here is bill amount is 100. So if that the amount is start from 100. Here you have to take note the result for the discount will show at here when at, on the payment screen. So that's why here I got mentioned for SSC company actually is that uh, it's not allowed to do the it's not allowed allowed to do the cash rebate by the discount because it will affect the calculation by every item. So here, uh, I have to take note, if let's say you got, you if the company is non SSD company, actually this one you have to set at the poll system setting, system set up there, you have to enable only will show this discount. So this one have to take note. So this is the rebate time by the discount method. The next one is a by payment. Okay, so here also can set by the percentage 10%, but this one we rebate by the payment day. Make sure you've got the payment type is cash rebate. So when they hit the amount, uh, 100 ringgit, here actually will auto show, auto show up the cash rebate 10%. Uh, discount here. If let's say here is 200, here will be show uh, amount is 20 ringgit. So at the end here, you can see the balance, how much to pay. So this one have to make sure you got the cash rebate payment type under here la, when at the dynamo setting there. So this is the cash rebate print at the market now running. Sample, la, this is. <laughs> The last promotion method is the purchase with purchase plan. This one objective is to attract consumer to purchase another item with lower price after hit certain amount of purchase. Here is the parameter for the promotion. You can see the, you can select also same like discount by uh, percentage or by amount. And then you want to do the routing by normal or by, by route up nearest dollar and nearest cent. Here you can set. And then the discount value, how many, and then valid amount, quantity for same item and different um, uh, item. And then here you can select a uh, stock group excluded for PWP. You can select the stock group, which one uh, not under your 
promotion for PWP, you can exclude it. Okay, for scenario one, it's a PWP amount 100, and then you got three items. A, B, C, same item one, different item one. So the setting will be like this. Then the current bill amount, if let's say the customer purchased 300 ID, here you can see 300 for the item, uh, for the ship valid the amount ID. Then here you can see, if let's say you're based on this one, quantity for same item one, quantity different item one, system only allow uh, to do discount for one of the item only. That's mean the, that's mean if let's say you do the this setting, at the end the result allow only one PWP item for item A, item B or item C only. Even, the, even here you set the value amount is 100. But here system trade it only can select one based on this uh, same item and different item is one. <clears throat> and then the next one we also send the scenario like just now PWP amount is 100. And then uh, also three item A, B, C. Here you can see same item two, different item quantity one. Same also have to hit the 30, 300 amount for the current bill. Here you can see uh, at the end for this setting, the result will be maximum two same PWP item cause you set two. Then only to allow two A, two B or two C. That means two item A, two item B or two item C. Here you cannot, if let's say item A1, item B2, you cannot do the PWP. So can, and then system is not allowed to get uh, 2A, 1B or 2A, 1C like this. Uh. So different item quantity cost, uh, different item quantity is one. <clears throat> the next one will be, also we set the PWP amount is 100. Also got these three item, and then two same item and two different item. Here you can see, uh, if let's say now the customer purchase 300 ID. So here you hit the 300 item amount ID. Then here you can see you can get two A, one B, and then two A, one C or two B, one C. Does. But system is not allowed A, B, C. Uh. That means cannot get one item A, one item B, and one item C because the setting is two same item and different only. That means if let's say this bill is 400, uh, uh, actually the PWP for the item, the, this, uh, this customer actually can get two item A and two item B or two item A or two item C. Because this one, why only can this one based on the setting here, cause this bill is 300. That's why here we cannot hit 2A, 2B or 2A, 2C like that. The next the scenario also same. Same item is uh, unlimited and then different item quantity is one. So current bill amount also same 300. The setting will be set like this. So unlimited to get the PWI, PWP item for here, but all is same. That means here, the sheet 300, every 100, they will get the, uh, the item for the PWP. If let's say selected the B item, so all will be item B for the PWP item. Okay, if let's say here, the next one, you can see it's unlimited for same, unlimited for different. So here they can mix all the, to get either item A, item B or item C. At the end, at least they can, uh, these three item is under the listing here. So here, uh, not only can select the one, of course here you can set uh, multi choices for the PWP item here, cause both also unlimited. Okay, the next one is, 
if let's say here same item quantity one different item quantity one but if let's say just now the setting there you got put the escort pwp for item aa so at the end you will not do the promotion for pwp here even as good stop group item hit amount for 100 here but pwp item will not give discount so this one is the as good stop item setting <clears throat> This is the, our sample at the market now to run the promotion for PWP plan. Okay, so the next one uh, will explain more the promotion detail setting and schedule wizard. Okay. Okay. Okay, hmm. okay now uh, come on a little bit Q&A sections. Uh, I saw the question one from when Chris Chia, he asking, can the cash rebate used on the next purchase indeed our instant discount? Your, your concern is like this, means that when customer hit the promotion mm. criteria, mm. then the customer can buy the discount, but mm. not current bill, but next bill, is it your, your request on that, is it? Miss Chris Chia? That means the cash rebate apply on next purchase. Huh? not on assisting, maybe they hit the 100 ringgit, but the cash rebate don't want to apply on, on the spot. They want to on next purchase, is it? If you're looking for that, I may have proposed like this, uh, because this consider is the next purchase. So normally how we do is, you can create a discount voucher. Means that when customer hit the purchase value, let's say for example, you encourage member come to shop, buy more than let's say 200. When you reach the bill 200, then you can gain a discount voucher in your receipt there. So customer can base your receipt, next purchase, you will ask the cashier to scan the receipt, you will get a discount. This is another we call a voucher discount method. That one is another setting. You can custom make the receipt format. Before that, you need to create a voucher in your system. When customer pays more than that, then system gender the voucher could in your button receipt there. So your next purchase, they use the voucher, let the cashier scan and get the discount. This we can help you to do that. Lah. If you're asking for this kind of scenario. So thanks, Simon. So the next one will be the promotion detail setting and the schedule visit how to use uh, what have to take note when every detail setting there. So here have Step to verify the promotion plan activation and successfully. And then we have to make sure the selected promotion plan active chat box is checked off. That means you have to take here. So this is the sample for promotion module set up the promotion setting there. Lah. So if let's say here you don't have active this one, but this uh, default setting system is active. Uh, maybe sometime you got it inactive or some of the promotion you want inactive to not let your staff to use, then you can uncheck or untick there. And then have to make sure the selected promotion plan effective and invalidated. So every promotion there, you, when you set the uh, promotion plan header, have to take note the invalidate or the schedule invalidate always have to plus one day for your last promotion day. So here understand now. Uh, that means if let's say you set this one, the promotion actually is until 30th September 2021 only. So when start on 1st of October, the promotion will stop already. <laughs> The next one, you have to make sure the selected promotion plan checkbox uh, upload promotion to post and then applicable to member only. Here you have to check for the setting. If let's say uh, you want to upload the post promotion to the post there, you can take this one, then you, the promotion will apply at the post there. And then uh, this one, if let's say as just now got asking, is it 
the promotion only for member only. If let's say yes, then you have to take. If you no take, that means every person, every customer for, uh, come into your shop, then all, uh, all the customer lah can apply for the promotion what you uh, what you said no? <clears throat> and then but this one you have to take note uh, uh stop promotion and member group promotion you will not this two setting of uh, course that's why it's under the own mem the promotion setting inside to set not under to here this one is uh, the another six type of the promotion you got this setting <clears throat> And then make sure the selected promotion plan schedule confirm and batch confirm chat box is checked. That means if you set the schedule here, you after you set the date, you can see the chat box for the schedule confirm must to take. If you no take, uh, the promotion will not apply to uh, under this batch range. Here you can see after you take. The promotion will be downloaded to the assigned location after confirm both schedule and batch. Here also, batch also got this kind of setting. Have to take note. Okay, under the promotion schedule wizard, we got the schedule option. Here you can see to create new multiple schedule. Uh, you got new update or delete. New actually is you can create new multiple schedule with different promotion setting. Retrieve is you can retrieve previous schedule record to add a new batch or update existing batch item. Retrieve previous uh, schedule record to delete immediately for the delete. So if let's say you click the update, you select the update, you can retrieve the schedule. What you have set before okay this one for the cancer is scheduled cancer user will not be able to reactivate the cancer schedule and all batch in the this schedule will be cancelled as well after saving the promotion setting okay to cancel the schedule which no longer to do the promotion for the cancer <clears throat> stop will Take note, this one, uh, stock will conflict if exiting as same schedule unless to use as hot method. <clears throat> okay, under the batch there also got this three option, new, update, and delete. For new here is to create a new multiple batch different, uh, with different batch grouping. Uh, update also will retrieve the previous batch record to update existing batch for new item and then delete it, retrieve the previous batch record to delete immediately. Here also got the cancel checkbox. After you check, actually same as just now, this one is to cancel the schedule which no longer to do the promotion. And then system will not be able to reactivate cancel batch after saving the promotion setting. And then here also same stop will conflict even existing at different batch unless to use the ad hoc method. And then the batch process option here, you can clone the batch record. So for the clone, you can clone the previous batch record and change the clone record as a new batch. And then you can cancel batch record also able to clone. <laughs> and then here, this is the step. If let's say you want to clone the batch record, you click here, then you can clone, you select the clone uh, promotion uh, batch before, and then you click the yes, you will see the screen like this. Okay, so here you can see is it will show the batch reference number here. Cause uh, after you clone, you will put copy of the just now the batch uh, reference number and description same, but at the reference number here, 
uh, we got the num we got the character characters uh, limitation is twenty only. That's why here you maybe you have to amend if let's say you got uh, you got do this kind of clone bash record, and then if clone bash uh, system not allowed to process to take this uh, bash confirm first before you delete the previous that's me if let's say you clone this one you don't take uh confirm first after that you try to delete this one then you have to come back to here only able to take this one batch confirm okay the next one will be the stop option under the screen you uh stop option here we got the add on new record Actually, this one is at the stock, not existing at promotion stock listing. That means what you filter here already, you will based on the new item to, uh, okay. you will select the new item to, you can see up here, you can got the item A and item AA, but here already got the item AA. So you will selected the new item to pump in on here. <clears throat> Maybe here you have the cost uh, for this one example, I just for what I filter for here training. Maybe here you got a lot of item. So you no need to select uh, every item, which item you want to. If let's say here you filter the category is your promotion one, then the system will choose the item which not yet to apply under the promotion listing here. You will, <coughs> uh, you will select to bump into the promotion stock there. Okay, the next one is the add new and update existing. You will add the stock not existing at the promotion stock listing and update existing record. Okay, here, if let's say you select here, you will, uh, you will add the new item because item A still not yet uh, under this one promotion stock here. You will add the new item and then you will update the existing uh, cost before here, no discount one. So here after you, uh, you, you change the discount value here if, and then you uh, change use this kind of a uh, stock option setting, you will update the discount value as well. Okay, update only is update post retrieve stock record only. Okay, you can see under here, you got the item A, item AA, item BB and item CC under your filtering here. And then the promotion stock here also got this kind of stock. So you will update, if let's say you filter the category for this one already, you will update uh, assisting what item here to update the value on it. You will not uh, select the others item to here. And then delete assisting only. If you select this one here, if let's say you've got uh, a lot, a list of promotion stock. You can filter what item you want to delete. Then, once you click the process by selected option here, you will delete the item which you want, which which you don't want. Now. So here you can see the result is only uh, left the item AA, item BB, and item CC here only. Item ABC is deleted. Delete all is what you select here. You will delete all. Actually here, you any item you filter already, actually the full list also will delete or even you know fil you filter few items here, but all the item will be delete. That means if you not if you delete all means all the item we you set for the promotion before we will delete under this listing already. So we will not apply for the promotion for those. Uh, you said before, <clears throat> and then here is the defined promotion parameter. Here you uh you got the 
actually different promotion also have, as just now mentioned, different parameter setting. But some of the parameter here, you've got the discount routing method. You've got the normal route send, route up to the nearest send, or route down to the nearest send, and then route up to the nearest dollar or ringgit. Lah. Route down to the nearest dollar or ringgit. If let's say the item price is 100, you discount 1.12%. Okay, this one is sample because uh, for easier to understand the route up and route down. Okay, if let's say you apply for the normal, <coughs> so the, <coughs> the discount, you will know route up or route down. You will follow what you discount based on the rate, you will get the discount amount here. If let's say you route up to the nearest cents, it will be the one ringgit 20 cents. So the discount will not got uh, one cent, two cent or three cent behind. La. So have to mean at least it's the 10 cent, 20 cent like this. <clears throat> if let's say you put the route down, also same, but you will based on just now one ringgit uh, 12 cent, to round down to be one ringgit ten cent. Okay, for here, if round up the nearest dollar, that means here, if let's say round down or round up, you will not got a uh, cent or ten cent or twenty cent behind. So what you do the discount, it will directly to round up or round down nearest to the dollar. That means the promotion will not got cent behind already. So this is the setting. So what you discount already, here you can see the promotion price. After you apply this discount, what the promotion price will be affect. That means if let's say here 100, after you apply the discount, you can see this one is actually is uh, 98 ringgit 88 cent for the promotion price. If you do the round up, the final amount will be 98 ringgit 80 cent. Round now will be 98 ringgit 90 cent and then here round up the dollar will be 98 ringgit and then the 98 ringgit for the round down so have to take note this one is adjust for the discount amount there after the discount amount you will get the uh, final amount for the promotion price okay and then for the define method and value, here the method actually is to select the generate method to get the filter value. Below the listing are the method you can buy stock brand, group, category, color, size, or user defined group one, two, three, or by barcode or code. And then you also can export and import by the Excel. So this is what uh, just now Simon got. Uh, told uh, tell us about this one. So here later at the next, I will show you what promotion can apply for Excel export and import. So here is the method you can select the method. So what the method you select? Here you can select. Uh, here the fact actually this screen is always you you see on the promotion setting there. So some of the customer will always will confuse what the method have to select. Actually, this panel, it depends on uh, which one easier for you to select. That's why when always we set the item, if can, we have to set the item. If let's say got brand, you can grouping by brand, by group or by category. Cause uh, not easier to for you to checking for the report. For some of the setting also be easier for you to do the setting like this one, you can do the grouping by category or by color or by, color, by size also can. <clears throat> okay, so just now I got mentioned for the method export or import. For this one, you can export by Excel from the promotion stock listing and then only available for three promotion can do only. Uh. We got eight. Actually, nine lah. As just now, uh, Simon mentioned, buy and free got another one promotion. So we calculate as nine promotion, but only three promotion can do the Excel import. 
So here we can do is a promotion plan, member group plan and make and match. If let's say here you use the method as bought, uh, by Excel, what, uh, if let's say you choose this one, here the promotion stock on this listing here, system will export to be an Excel. So here you can see the sample, <coughs> sample Excel. <coughs> okay. So this is a sample Excel you see on the, we do the promo, uh, what you export, same as just here the screen. But have to take note, actually the most important is you have got the barcode post price and post promotion price and post promo, promo member price. So just now uh, got a user got asked is it can use the price one, two, three, four, five to be applied for the promotion? Maybe you can update the price one or price two to here. Then you do the calculation for discount after discount for the promo price and discount price to here. Then system will directly follow the price to do the promotion. Okay. So here you can see after just now you export, maybe you amend the calculation or any figure or value here, you can import again. So you select import into, then you will prompt the screen. System will, you can use the browse file here to uh, select just now the Excel file to import. So here you can see the value. So this is the, after you import, you will show like this one. Here also got mentioned, uh, the Excel file to be import must be consist three columns. Barcode column, promo price, and promo member price. <laughs> okay. For the filter value, okay. based on generate method to get what filter value. Here you can see, if let's say your method is by stock group, the filter value will be all is the stock group. I, uh, all the stock group. Uh. If let's say here you method by category, here will be see the category grouping here. Okay. Here also got the using post price of location. If let's say the your every outlet got different every out, every outlet or location got different post selling price. So you can use which poll, uh, which outlet price to do the promotion for the setting. Here you can select the outlet price, outlet location price, then you will see the, uh, the post price here. And then if let's say you put the discount value here, 10%, here you can see the post promotion price here. So this is the another outlet. So you, if let's say here also apply for 10%, but different outlet got different post price. So here you can see different post price and then give the discount also different also. Okay, stock to be processed here. The stock item record retrieve from the defined method value. That means what you search from here, you will filter to be here. And then the method to search and value to get depends on user behavior. That means uh, the stock, what show here actually is depend on user uh, selected what uh, method and value. After retrieval, uh, the stock listing, if let's say any stock, no need to proceed to be the promotion stock, you can use this one minus a uh, symbol here to delete. So you can highlight the item, which one you don't want, you can delete, then you press the process by selection option, if you uh, import to under the promotion stock here. The next one will be the promotion stock. Promotion stock here, uh, if let's say you, 
because under this promotion stock here, you still can change some of the value, some of the column, you still can change the value, you can amend. So uh, after you amend, you have to take note, have to take here, save here. For example one, sample one, if let's say just now you do the round up or round down already, but after you process to here, you don't want to change anything from here already. Maybe you still can uh, select the column. Maybe this one you want to uh, round down. Maybe the after the promotion price, maybe it's not what you want. So you still can round, do the round send here. Sample two, the discount value, you still can adjust. So you can see the after the promotion price also will different not after you adjust. Okay, the next one will be the post simulation to test the promotion plan. Okay, so this is a benefit to the user. Lah. So, uh, okay, what is the post simulation? Lah? Actually, it's the function to simulate or test the post operation same as the, our touch pole or touch of MP pole system. So why we got the pole simulation import? Uh, why so important? Uh? To make sure every promotion plan setting is correctly and work on the promotion period. That means what you set already, you can use the, use the post promotion, uh, post simulation to test. This also convenient user to perform any promotion testing after done the plan setting. Uh? and then to set the cost to invest another post system machine for the promotion testing purpose. Okay, where to access the post simulation in Dynamo actually is under the post management and query post simulation here. Or after you done every promotion plan at the end, we will prompt a message. You, if let's say the message there you got checked, for the post, you want to test the post simulation there. So if you've got chat, you will prompt up this screen as well. Okay, for here, how to apply the promotion plan on the post simulation now? You can choose the date or time, same as your promotion plan. So this is, and then you have to take note, always click a new transaction. If let's say you've got change any setting here, so this is the one uh, you can set the date and then you can uh, put every time you have to click the new transaction after you change the date or change the setting. And then here you can scan or key in your barcode or to here uh, for the item which under the promotion plan. And then you can set the default setting tab here, maybe uh, some of the promotion is for certain outlet, certain location, then you can test is it the promotion uh, work on the location or not. If let's say uh, some of the outlet no, not, not include on the promotion, you can select the outlet which are not under the promotion, is it will affect the outlet or not, you can try it. And then some of the promotion only for member, then you can select the customer ID there. So if let's say you select the customer ID is the member, you will show customer is member, it will show the checkbox here. So this is the benefit, uh, you can test it. <clears throat> and then uh, just now the member group plan there, you got, we got the limited quantity for member. After done the setting at the dynamo, what should set at the touch pole, the pole system there? So here you have to take note, uh, we got a setting to set for the pole there is assume the pole is the pole server. Actually it's uh, step one, you have to appoint one of the pole machine to set up the pole server for each location. That means if let's say the outlet got few poles, few terminal poles, maybe got two or three terminal. So have to appoint one of the pole system as a pole server. Then go to the pole server machine and log in the touch pole. Then you go to the set system setup there to configure the pole server connection. 
That means here, after you click here, you can see on this screen system set up there under the step 10 there, you have to check this one is, uh, this is a post machine will be the post server. Then here, after you take, uh, if no post server is being set yet for the location, once you click the checkbox, uh, here will system will automatically fill in the client socket ID, database instant name, and then the database name here. If promotion no longer applicable, can directly untake the checkbox here. That means this checkbox is important. If let's say uh, this is not the, the promotion is no longer to for the limited quantity for member. <laughs> And then here you have to set the database username and database password to be filled in by user. That means after you take here, you only have to take this, you have only to set the database username and password to here. And then you have to press this one to test the post server connection to check whether connection is successful, the database or not. Then at the last one, you have to press this one, step, step and set continue to set the, all the settings here. Okay, after that, you have to open the dynamic client socket, make sure the promotion synchronization is performed one time. It will synchronize the post server connection setting to backend so that post client means uh, the same outlet there, the other terminal, uh, we may download the setting, assume that one is the post carrier. And then setting completed, post user might test the promotion setting before promotion start. <clears throat> okay. Important note is uh, this one post server, you maybe for some of the user, if let's say to know, maybe you can contact us to, to verify it. Uh. Actually, this one is the SQL network uh, server network configuration. It is to allow other post client for same location able to connect to post server database. Have to make sure this one, uh, your SQL server instance here to make sure the this one, this tool is enabled. <clears throat> and then what should do for the post client after the post server set? You have to open the dynamic client socket to download the promotion. Again, synchronize to the post there. Then go to the login the post there. But here you don't need to take, but system also not allowed to take that. Then you have to test the connection is it can link to the post server or not? If okay, then done. Post user might test the promotion setting before promotion start. <clears throat> okay, so this is the promotion detail setting and the schedule wizard there, what we have to take note on every setting for the promotion. <clears throat> the next one uh, actually is the copy to subsidiary company promotion. Uh. If let's say last, uh, webinar, you got join our subsidiary com company promotion webinar. Actually, that that they already share la, but here I will brief a bit. Actually, this one is a subsidiary promotion setting. If let's say, uh, parent company already set the promotion, then uh, subsidiary company maybe also run the same promotion. So here, after they set at the parent company there, then just click the copy to the subsidiary company. All the promotion will be uh, cloned to the subsidiary company there. But at the same, have to make sure the promotion is uh, running at the same date or same, date, same thing. Uh. But here, have to take note is a... Uh, Okay, maybe here I, here actually is under the subsidiary company there, and then set up 
you have to go to the subsidiary company promotion registration first. After done this registration at the subsidiary commercial, uh, company promotion, it able to copy promotion record to the register subsidiary company. So what can what support for this uh, promotion plan or the promotion plan and the promotion setting? Okay, how to do the register? This is the scenario. The parent company need to copy the promotion setting to the subsidiary company. Okay, so here have to make sure this setting is under the parent company there. And then have to set the source ID and description for your site. So here I got show this blue color is the parent company. Here you have to set under the parent company there, set the subsidiary company database. And then have to take note is do not register for this company. That means here is the parent company. Don't register the parent company under this setting. At the set, that means same database don't set the same source here. Lah. If not, it will uh, remove during the cloning promotion. This is an assemble promotion plan. We do the promotion plan already at the parent company and register this setting already. Then you come to the one of the selected promotion, maybe you done already. Then you can go to the promotion there to set the, you do the copy to subsidiary company promotion. Then here we'll prompt up the screen. So check again the setting, make sure the is error is end. And then press the copy now to copy the parent company promotion to register subsidiary company. That means uh, it's just now the parent company already set the register subsidiary company. So which subsidiary company will get the same promotion setting? So here you have to, if once you click the copy now ID, then here you prompt a message to alert you. Are you sure want to copy current promotion to register subsidiary company now? So please note that the record would be first removed if copy the setting previously, all location would be used in copy promotion. So this one have to take note of, if let's say, uh, be, previously already uh, copy ID. So you copy again, you will remove, first remove the subsidiary company promotion, then copy again. So at so if let's say got do this kind of setting, have to make sure uh, this setting, promotion setting control at the parent company, the subsidiary company there to do any promotion setting. If not, you will conflict. Okay, so here, if let's say done already, we will press OK successfully to copy the promotion setting. And then we'll show, you can see the process block here is done. And then you can come to the subsidiary company, cause just now it's the parent company to do the setting to copy. Then you can come to the promotion plan here for the subsidiary company there, then you can see all the promotion will clone to the subsidiary company already. Okay, at the last one, we will cover, uh, cover some of the promotion module report. Uh. Okay, so actually we have a lot of the promotion report. Mostly is the promotion, what you set, you will show the listing, and then what uh, stock already under the promotion, what you said. The most useful, the report maybe is the post promotion sales summary here. Lah. Okay, what's the useful for this promotion? So you can compare. Cause be, before you, <clears throat> uh, before you do, before you do the promotion, you can see, if let's say on this period you do promotion, last month if no do promotion, 
you can compare the sales and then you can compare by location, by stock, or you can, this is the sample, what already you run the promotion, then you can come back to compare. So this is the post summary sales, post promotion sales summary for the cross tab. If let's say you do the cross tab, cost just now one, two, three, this three is first three, you can compare. And then cross tab here is this kind of the report. You can compare the uh, this promotion period and the actual promotion uh, no, no period. Maybe you can select last month you do promotion and then this month you also do the promotion. You also can compare. So this is the make and match plan stock listing also. Uh, if let's say you've got set the item for the make and match already, then you can see what the make and match item apply on the, what the stock item apply on this mix and match plan. And then the add on plan, that's mean uh, under this plan, you've got what item uh, is uh, included in this plan. And then, uh, buy and free. So here also can check the stock listing. What uh, already applied on the promotion. This one is pre w plea, purchase with purchase. Okay, so this is uh, today uh, the presentation, uh, the training. So, so now uh, we come to the final Q&A sections. I think for sharing a lot of the technique, how to set, what the caution you need to be, be alert. So everything, all in shame is far there. So now, ladies and gentlemen, anything you want to have a question to ask about the setting or promotion types, you may raise your question now. Before we go to the promotion, I think there's something you need to be to pre-plan. What I mean pre-plan, uh, basically when you do promotion, you need to know which item I should do for promotion. And then the target group is to home. Actually, this need the pre plan first. Huh? So, in our system, actually, we have some report to help you to check. Let's say you want to stop promotion, you want to attract the people. You should know which item is saleable item. So, in this scenario, what report you should looking for? If idea of that, if you have any idea of that, how to attract the people come to your shop to re redo the leaf clearing sales, attract people to come to your shop. Let's say you know in your whole product sales. Then you list out the top seller item. If you list out top seller, top seller item, meaning to say, the top seller item means a lot of people prefer this item. They prefer to buy this item, right? When do the promotion for top seller item, of course, you attract a lot of people come to the shop to selling, buying the purchase, item, right? So this is some of the idea you need to do. Before do promotion, what the purpose you want to do? What the uh, objective you want to hit? So from the objective, then you find which report the hell you do, gen the stock list for you to do the promotion. And now the Lim Hiu Xia asking, is there a page to show some of all the product promotion? And there is a quick way to inactive the promotion. I share the first report, they share with you all the promotion, whether it's active or not by which, when to when. From the summary there, let's say you know which promotion you want to stop. From listing the report, then you need to go to individual. The promotion blend there to inactive it okay, one by one. As you know where no no the summary list for the untake from uh, for all the promotion type in one screen uh, you still need to go back to one one to one promotion method from there the identity one by one uh. no quick where at the moment uh. okay come back to today objective of promotion please think of that why we need to promotion that's how i already share with you any pieces you think to do engage with your customer or membership so promotion is one of the way to engage your customer. At the same time, you increase your sales using promotion method, right? That's why you see a lot of the merchant in the market doing the promotion. Uh, Yon, they, every week they do some promotion. Or Shopee today, they're running the 999 promotion. So promotion, you want a factor for business very important. Only thing is, in your mindset, the thing, which item should do for promotion? Then how many profit you can gain for promotion? Oh, so these are some factors you need to think before running the promotion. 
So for those uh, important uh, notes uh, you can get from the system, actually report, uh, our software got a lot of some report to share with you. Just I mentioned the top sale item, where you can extract a customer. Then you can from a report, you can list out the bottom item. They miss that non sellable item. How to clear the stock. So you have get this some information before to promotion. Or you want to extract in the this location, from the report you see, you choose by this location. In this location, which item you prefer by your local uh, member purchase there? For the listing, then you know where to promotion, I should looking for this kind of report to do the promotion so that your promotion will be more effective, all right? That's why when doing something, you need some reporter to support your own activity. Then we have to end section if you have no question to ask. Also, thank you for your time. Uh, stay to us at two hours. So see you again on the 23rd of September. Hope everyone is understand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Uh. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.